Hey, good afternoon. This is Billy Carter with Ag Explorer back out in the field here in Mount Carmel, Illinois with Matt, Matt, and Steve. The gentleman in the blue shirt there is Matt Herman of Herman Ag Services. We're going to call him Richard in this video right here. I like that smile he gives us. Anyway, Richard, tell us about what we're looking at right here. So here behind us is Bex 6973, new 119-day tricepta hybrid from last year. This is its second commercial year. Uh, won a lot of plus for us last year, and so far it's doing the same thing this year. Steve, what is special about this corn that we're looking at right here, do we think, today? I think it has super impressive grain depth and grain quality, and I, I, it just has good weight to it. Matt, what do we think this corn has just achieved here today? We think it is the highest entry ever in the NCGA for Bex. The highest entry ever in NCGA for Bex. So I gave Matt here, or Richard as I referred to him, a hard time earlier in the year for when he was wanting to do the NCGA entry, talking about different hybrids, Matt. And we had a good time joking and laughing about it. Well, I am here to say that you have changed my mind. The Ag Explorer programs that we used on the corns this year, uh, done a good job, got us to where we needed to. North of 320 on this yield, dry ground corn, had some very challenging times this year in the uh, uh, growing season. Too wet early, too cool uh, during pop-up time, too much water, uh, localized droughts, things of that nature. Tar spot came in on us right. Uh, overall, fellas, how are y'all? We had some decal varieties out here, and, and we have the Becks. Let's just be honest. How did they both stack up today? I would say tit for tat is what I'm looking at right there. No statistical difference, right? Yep, yep. So... Matt Herman, you give us a little bit of downplay on on or, or uh, uh, play on your Beck seed corn here about the program you done and uh, yeah, on so, the year. So we started out uh, after after the corn was up with our post application. We used Architect with our post application. Uh, then we came back in, an, a week later and did it again with Architect. Uh, then at tassel time, we came back with Onward Max, XR5 Sulfur, XR5 Boron Intensity. Um, Veltima fungicide and insecticide uh, and then we did that once a week for three weeks after the corn was tasseled um, and then on, on part of the acres uh, we had we came back with one late shot of Veltima on part of the acres as well about two and a half weeks before brown so or before and, black layer I'm sorry and done a great job now fellas you all farming how does it feel to possibly have a new record for a seed corn hybrid that is so well known how does it feel on your all's farm to possibly have set a new record for them. It's not too bad. <laughs> well, hey, congratulations. I wish you all the best as we turn this into the state of Illinois and you all have a great day out there watching.